Educators and manufacturers all came together in Bemidji today to learn about the current state of manufacturing. Haiti Clatter shows us how locals are addressing the issues affecting the industry. Steve Cocombs of Anderson Fabrics has designed fabrics for clients such as Bill and Hillary Clinton and Tiger Woods, just to name a few. Healthcare uh, is getting more and more expensive. Yet he still has a hard time hiring employees even though they don't need a background in manufacturing. 30% of our workforce has been there for over 15 years. But uh, uh, baby boomers are getting older and we have a number of people that have been very, very good Anderson Fabrics employees for many years that are retiring now and we need to uh, bring in uh, younger people. Kokums, educators, economic developers and manufacturers were in the same room at the Northwest Minnesota Foundation for the ninth annual State of Manufacturing. Manufacturing creates 13 percent of the jobs in the state and 16 percent of the wages which is a great multiple and offers great careers for young people and, and even people thinking about uh, changing their career and in, in maybe later in life. The occasion highlighted a survey on trends in the manufacturing industry and how to address any challenges. The survey was centered on the 12 counties in the Northwest region. And manufacturing is a core of uh, strength in communities. The phone survey of 400 manufacturing executives revealed key issues like health care coverage and also the biggest challenge of retaining a qualified workforce. I think we went through a generation or two of telling people that manufacturing is not a great job for young people. And now we're starting to realize that it shouldn't be a consolation prize. It's a great career opportunity and very good pay and, uh, and, and it keeps young people in the community. Guests also heard from panelists including the superintendent of Bemidji Area Schools. Kokums responds to the surveys every year and appreciates the focus on the community. Interesting to see that uh, other parts of the state have uh, many similar problems but when you get to the rural areas of Minnesota that there's unique uh, challenges. According to the Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development, manufacturing was the largest private sector contributor to Minnesota's gross domestic product in 2015. In Bemidji, Haiti Clatter, Lakeland News. A part of the survey included a focus group conducted at Brainerd High School and it uncovered how there aren't enough women in the industry and the importance of internships in having a career in manufacturing. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.